year I've been giving talks to physical scientists about open science and sustainable software development. And I wanted to bring to Collaborations Workshop the three questions that I had the most difficulty answering from the ends of those talks uh, and see if we can maybe get some useful input from people here. Uh, so the first one is, when does my code need tests? I generally introduce this idea that there's a somewhat of an evolution from a small standalone script to a library to a large complex package. <laughs> And a very reasonable and difficult question is at what, at what point your small self-explanatory script becomes a difficult to maintain library and testing becomes mandatory. <coughs> I would love it if there was a simple rule of thumb that we could throw out there to, to settle this one. Um, the second one was how do I have time to work on docs? And uh, I, I was able to partially answer this one for people because there are several parts of your documentation. I do think API documentation is largely a solved problem. There are some great toolkits for somewhat automatically generating that with not too much time input. Um, there is an equal sort of high level background discussion, but for researchers, you just go, well, yeah, you should be writing your papers. So the, the, the difficult part is the how to guides and the tutorials. These are quite time intensive. They take a little bit of creativity. They need a nice layout, ideally. Um, it would be great if there was some kind of toolkit or more quick start for these. Just something I'm wondering about as a hackathon possibility. So I may put in a proposal related to that. And finally, very common question people ask me: What about Docker? Should I be using Docker? How do I use Docker to help with my research? And I have absolutely no idea. And I know a lot of people could help with that one as well. Okay. Thank you very much.